Quindi Friul Ovest Banca, parliamo di una banca cooperativa eh, che serve il territorio. So I will explain how our bank was founded. This was a merger of two country saving banks. A kind of enlightened people got together, decided to solve the problems of very poor countryside. At the end of the 19th century, people experienced uh, huge problems, so they needed some solutions. There were no funds, so they identified the solution in a cooperative saving bank. And our institution got more and more stable. It grew. Other banks evolved in the years to come. It is important for you to understand the background because our mission, in fact, from the very beginning is the same. We only developed and strengthened it further on. Our bank has 21 branches in Friuli and we employ 131 people. We have 6,156 uh, members, and m more than 50 of them are very young. Since 2010, the number of our members has grown since we paid special attention to young people. Currently, we, perf we manage 18,206 current accounts, and we manage a couple of billion of euros. In recent years, we increased the scope of our operations despite the crisis, the current crisis. These are the activities of our bank. We are active in various fields as presented here in this graph. We try to support the companies, families, associations and societies. The biggest stress is placed on agriculture. In 2011, we supported 500 associations of volunteers. We financially supported them, and we see that in the times of crisis, this is extremely important. It's, it is important to raise awareness of social responsibility, and we need to be active in various sectors to raise awareness and to remain very active. This can be, you can see what are the fields where we work, culture, art, schooling, and so on. We are active in various fields with various forms. We are also a member of the Cooperative Association. This is at the national level, and we often negotiate with higher levels, with the government or at the EU level even. Our network, our national cooperative network, includes 50 two agricultural cooperatives, two banks, 33 social cooperatives, nine consumer cooperatives, and 46 six workers' associations, and also cooperatives in the field of culture and tourism. In San Giorgio municipality, we have the headquarters, 
and only in this city there are 10 cooperatives and some of them are globally recognized for example our cooperative active in the field of wine production this is the situation at the national level there are more than 400 cooperative banks with more than 4,000 branches in Italy and more than a million of members. And now the regional network, there are 15 cooperative banks with 230 branch offices and more than 56,000 members. Why is it so important to be a part of different networks? Thus, we can centralize our services. We can provide joint services. Our jobs are much more flexible. It enables us to reduce costs, to increase our operations, and there is a better flow of information and sources. Within our regional network, we are independent. Namely, we have an integrated system with the principle of mutual cooperation and local mission independent activities, therefore. Due to the integrated system, we, can, we are still very close to our clients because we are well aware of the social economy. We have a good understanding and therefore we can adapt, we can be flexible. Our bank is very active in social area, mainly due to reduced budget intended for social activities. We try to support the system of social entrepreneurship through our society. We have a special company called Credima, and we help individuals and families. <clears throat> and we try to develop social responsibility, cooperative solidarity, as well as our work is based on the principle of mutuality. <clears throat> How is this done? We've been working in this field for six years with great results. We promote and strengthen health and well-being of the local community. We try to reimburse or cover the costs of health care. We also support some sports events and special attention is placed on families and the needs of the community. There are a lot of projects for the future, but mainly we want to focus on young people. We wish to build strong culture of co strong cooperative culture and build in our values and principles. This is what we want to transfer to all these young people. Every year we draft a report on our activities and this can be compared to usual balance sheet prepared by companies. Here you can see a number of members of Credima. There are more than 2,000 of them, mutual assistance. There are some technical problems with the projection. It is important to contribute to this social budget that, that has been reduced at the central level, at the national level. I have uh, almost come to the end of my presentation. I have mentioned that the national budget has reduced and it is important to know how much we invest and 
and therefore we wish to support as many stakeholders in our region as possible. Our bank is a relatively small one, but I hope that with my presentation, I managed to convey the message that we are important. Since in the times of economic and ethic crisis, we have proved our stability, our reliability. So in the future, we can be even more successful. The cooperative model that was uh, that was promoted by important economists at the end of the 19th century. They tried to label it as a, something crazy, insane, but it has proved to be very helpful, extremely in bad times. It was nice to listen about Mondragone Mondragon, their model is what we need for the future. I hope that your services will really satisfy the needs of individuals and the society.